I was 16 and uh, getting ready to go to high school. The life was very peaceful, very, very pleasant. It was a rural area with farmers who were doing good farming and I was going to go to university because father had enough to educate us and we valued, he valued education. I was just over 12. We had a farm. Everything uh, seemed to be all right and suddenly the work broke yeah. out and everything went to pieces. They knocked at the door, there was four or five of them with the bayonets drawn. They took my father, they uh, t tied him to the leg of the table uh, with a face to the wall, and they gave my mother 45 minutes to pack our belongings, and they uh, even suggested that uh, you may want to t pack some warm clothing because where you are going, there may be cold at that time. There was an awful lot of snow and, uh, and somehow people managed to live through the winter. Winter started in October and ended in May. And uh, people had to go to work, and our father was uh, cutting timber, cutting trees in the forest. They had to walk some t quite a distance. After amnesty, they gave us freedom. We could move. After amnesty, my father left the place where we were living and went south when the Polish army was being created. So that put an awful strain on my mother. Uh, he sent us a telegram and said that pack and, and leave uh, <coughs> Poshowek right away before river freezes. That's where we were started being separated. It, it, it's amazing what people can go how people cling to life yes. when it's threatened. There are so many people that uh, do not know what happened to those out of the 1.5 million people. That, the, 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 there's only 140,000 people that General Anders, who was our commander in Russia, managed to smuggle, practically smuggle to Persia and from then on out, we spread over there. Uh, Helen went to Africa, I, I went to Middle East, my father went to Italy, but uh, th there was more than a million people that are still unaccounted for from uh, all the people that were deported.